Welcome to another episode of Songwriting Inside Out, where you can get the inside scoop on how to master the art of great songwriting. Hello, I'm Robin Crow, the founder of Dark Horse Institute and Dark Horse Recording. With each video, I know you'll be inspired to achieve higher levels of creativity as you continue to pursue your passion for great songwriting. I've entered the ISC a few times and, and then I sort of just got away from the idea that a contest was going to have that kind of reach into where I wanted to go. But when I put out the next song, my latest single, my wife put it in the competition without me knowing and then she kind of kept it to herself that it was climbing the, the ranks and then when then she scheduled a call for me and I was like, oh, that's interesting that these guys want to talk to me. I had no idea. So I was like sitting by the river with my daughter right by our house and I just about jumped in the river just out of like joy to, uh, to be lucky enough to win that. And, and of course, best case scenario, the nine days here at Dark Horse recording is, I mean, this place is gorgeous. It's gorgeous in the country. It's like exactly what I need for a fulfilling recording experience. Right down to the guys that are interns, but they're like super pro. You know what I mean? That are that are engineering the record and, and uh, troubleshooting anything, anything we need. It's just been a an amazing experience, and and of course that's that's a huge gift from the ISC and from Dark Horse. I wrote this one tune, and it was kind of uh, you know upbeat and and a, a little bit abrasive, but like catchy little pop rock kind of thing, on acoustic. And I was thinking it wasn't going to fit the record, so I almost left it off and I showed it to the producer. And he was like, this is a slow country song. And I was like, well, okay, you, you show, me, show me what you mean. And we started playing it. I was like almost weeping the first time. It was, it was just so beautiful and I had no idea. It's, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing how, how songs are, and anything creative that's a creation, a reflection of its creator, is living. And it's, uh, it's got a spirit of its own and in front of a different audience or treated a different way or on the day it's sung or what's going on in your life. It's, uh, it's amazing how much it changes. Suddenly, your feet are on the ground. You see your eyes are open. You find that you've been found. You laugh, but you're not joking. Your feet are... So I was always picked on for having a high voice and um, thought the last thing I'd ever do would be a singer. A few months after I started wanting to sing, I still had no idea what I wanted to sing. And then I saw this songwriter in Winnipeg in the middle of winter with like 12 other people in the room. And he had a, he had a Gibson just like my, well, I got this because of that, you know? And I saw him sitting on the stage on a stool like this and, and you know, a few people in the audience, harmonica rack, and I play harmonica too. And, and uh, he was just pouring his heart out, you know, going through a hard time in life. And, and this was, and I was sitting there on my stool watching, just like, oh my goodness, <laughs> like the beam of light almost, you know? It felt like that, and it was like, this is what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life, I'm gonna be a songwriter. When I started, I was, I was kind of a new Christian, so a lot of my tunes were very passionate, like a songs about the change of life. I pretty quickly got away from overtly uh, Christian stuff and just, and just was discovering people like Bob Dylan and Neil Young, and those guys really influenced the change for me. So then I saw poetry and I saw the art form completely change. You could have a hit that wasn't completely commercial if it just resonated a lot, you know? And I think that that's actually what has led me to this uh, place being a dark horse and, and the international songwriting competition. And that good fortune is just that I've always been aiming to connect with the heart of the audience and like whatever audience potentially might be there and, and not, not try to play the formula too much. 